Javante Davis, is he cherry picking around Tiafimo Lopez, Shakur Stevens, and Devin Haney? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, a question has come up regarding Javante Tank Davis and his next fight, which is, I believe, going to be Lamont Roach or Rocha or Rochera. Uh, and a lot of people are saying that Javante Davis is cherry picking because he didn't pick one of those previously mentioned names. I just want to break down this topic, get my 5,000 nickels for anybody listening. I, I, I figured out, or oh, to myself, I figured out what I think it is. To the people who know Lamont and to the people who know boxing and been around, it's a good fight. But what is missing is that flair. Lamont isn't that type of guy. He, he, he a gentleman. He laid back. All right, Lamont the kind of guy, like, he tried to intimidate you. You wouldn't be fully intimidated because his eyes green, light skin ball. He don't look like super mean ball. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Tank got the tattoos, his eyes off a little bit. He look crazy. All right, so Javante Davis, Tiafima Lopez, Shakur Stevens, Devin, the Dream, Haney, what's really going on? Javante, you a fucking pussy. You are a bitch. So people are saying that Javante Tank Davis is cherry picking because he didn't pick Tiafima Lopez, Shakur Stevens, or Devin Haney as his next fight. And I don't believe that it's cherry picking. I think... Javante Davis is in a peculiar situation. This makes me want to burn this motherfucker down. I had mentioned in a previous video that Javante Davis is doing the right thing for his career because he's sticking to one weight. He's mastering that weight. He's, he's the top dog at that weight. And as long as he sticks with that weight and keeps refining his skill sets at that weight, that's probably not going to be anybody to beat him. I broke my back. Spinal. The problem with sticking with one weight and the reason why most fighters, you know, they, they, they'll they do really good at one weight, they'll move beyond that weight, and then they don't look the same anymore. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. It's because you're not a master of that weight. Now, when you move into a new weight class, you're heavier, you're probably slower, your speed's probably not the same. The guys already in that weight class that have you know, made a name for themselves who have mastered the weight class. And for Javante Davis, you can either stick around 135 and be the greatest 135 fighter ever, or you can move up and take a bunch of chances. And I, I think that Javante Davis is in the mind state to where he's not taking risk with his career. Y'all telling me with this Now, it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. It could be a good thing because you're the master of your weight class. It could be a bad thing because people are going to say, well, I want to see you fight this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. And you're not challenging yourself. You're ducking. You're cherry picking. Well, there's that factor. And then there's another factor. Devin Haney's already been beat. What kind of bullshit is this? Shakur Stevenson's injured. No, I got the cut shit. That's the rule. And Tiafima Lopez is going to want to be the A-side if they fight. You scum sucking son of a bitch. So, you could either go take a fight with Tiafima Lopez where you're going to have a six-month, you know, negotiation process, you know, where he wants to be the A-side and you want to be the A-side and they got this big stupid argument about the A-side. Pain. You could wait Shakur Stevenson out and who knows when his hands are going to be back ready and you're going to have the same problem because he's going to want to be the A-side and this, that, and the third and... He's most likely going to put on some weight while he's sitting around waiting for his hand to heal. It's an ambush, man. I ain't got to stay around for this. I'm out. So you're going to have a situation to where it might happen at 140. He might want it at 140. Javante Davis wants it at 135 or catch weight. Then there's a whole another four or five month argument about that. Or you can go fight Devin the Dream Haney. And he's gonna beat Devin Haney because Devin Haney's trash. Wait, 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 wait. Harry, Mama. here, here, Harry. Mama. And everybody's gonna say, "Well, you beat a trash Devin Haney." So I mean, it's it's very peculiar, awkward situation that Javante Davis finds himself in. And to be honest with you, Lamont is is not a bad fight. I've heard of Lamont Rocha before. He's a top dog down at 130. He's never fought at 135. 
I don't think he um, is the strongest, most powerful, this, that, and the third type of fighter. But he's got a decent enough name to where you're not going to have to go through all this other rigor and morale to get the fight made. And it's just another notch on your belt. You ain't down with that? Shut your goddamn ass up. You can say you beat another up-and-coming fighter. And in the meantime, let those guys get their together and perhaps you can fight them at the beginning of next year. I ain't sick, I ain't nervous, and I ain't upset. I, I definitely see the Shakur Stevens fight most likely being his next fight. I think eventually he's going to have to leave 135 because there's not too much left for him there besides a Vasil Lomachenko fight. You better put some stink on this motherfucker like your life depending on, you understand me? And I definitely think he'll eventually move to 140 and end up fighting Tiafima Lopez as long as he doesn't move up in weight. You gotta know when to leave that relationship. You gotta know when to leave that job. You gotta know when to leave that friendship. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of people still holding on to things that's not there no more. I mean, we gotta know what, it, what his money's going to. They still holding on to feelings. That feeling was two years ago. That feeling was a year and a half ago. That feeling was five years ago. I mean, we gotta know what, it, what his money's going to. It's over. Stop being paralyzed by things that you wish gonna come back. Oh, it's gonna come back. Oh, they gonna treat me right at this job. My friend is not gonna, gonna stop gossiping about me. They gonna start being the old friend that they used to be that I fell in love with being a friend, having a friendship with. I mean, we gotta know where this, where this money going to. No, it's over. These people don't even value me. Stop holding on to what's not there no more. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. Don't like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, but you're more than likely to get a response on the tubes. I'll let have me over there. Want to collab or feature a product? Your channel, my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com. And we aren't man here. Don't try this at home. I don't know shit about boxing. Hey, yo, brand new money. money. What you know about it? About it. Niggas want to claim they about it. I doubt it. it. Got your house around it. You don't want to come about it. No. It's lonely at the top, but at the bottom it's crowded. No. A nigga ain't eating a week. Yet and still got a pocket full of bread, then you're probably a beast. Probably. If you're eating every day of the week, but you ain't got a dollar to your name, then you're probably a leech. Probably. Preach. Think the most high is for making me most flash, so K wash on the fat boy dad. I know you got something on your mind, don't try it. I got something in the rats in your head, bone blind for sure. Let me see you go, let me see you go, get it, get it. Let me see you go, let me see you go, get it. Get you know it. I stack it, don't spin it, spin it, only don't rent it, rent it. Wait a damn minute, I'ma show them how to get it. Come on, let me see you go, let me see you go, get it, get it. Let me see you go, let me see you go, get it, get it. Let me see you go, let me see you go. Sirens and the shots firing. Niggas looking for jobs, but they not hiring. Sorry. You gotta take it all in your own hands. Own what hands. you on, bruh? I got my own plans. Bruh. Get my own land. Please move along, man. If you can't respect the fact that I'm a grown man, and I ain't playing, going hard in the paint for my niggas that wanna go hard, but they can't. So I guess I'm going triple hard. I get your girlfriend's nipples hard. Never leave home without my pimping card. So please put my name on the wall. That's the greatest of all. Put my name on the brawl. If I lay in the wrong, what I'm saying to y'all. Lucas Keys ain't playing with y'all. Men the finger what I'm waving to y'all. Give a damn if you say hi. Super low, yet I stay high. Lucas Keys. Let me see you go. Let me see you go. Get it, get it. Let me see you go. Let me see you go. You know I stack it, don't spin it. Spin it. Only don't rent it. Rent it. Wait a damn minute. I'ma show them how to get it. Hey, I'm living like a boss. Look, I'm good in any hood I'm in. That's about that nigga Mizzle. Where it where you should have been. I get it in, homie. You my motherfucking thing. Shit ain't nothing. I be macking. Get in the bitch's brain. The bitch and Kane ain't nothing. We focus on the same shit. Niggas on what I'm on. That's why we in the same clique. I rep that M Ola, buddy. You know how that go. Get it twisted for a second. You know somebody gon' let go. We cut though. Touch us, bet you feel that gun butt. Fuck the niggas on the block. Tell the cop. To let the cuffs go Hating on a nigga status Now you looking down a barrel I ain't with that rapping shit So don't confuse this for a battle Those niggas with that nonsense Talking all that fly shit Hoes is just now on some shit That I was doing in 9-6 Get on your grind, bitch And stay up out of my shit Study my hustle Go ahead and try and see how far you get